the two show courts. And, uh, well, confirmation, Victor Axelson at the foot of the men's singles draw here in the Birmingham tournament, the All England Open, coming through against Chiyuchi. He'll take on Li Zijia of Malaysia tomorrow. You'll find out what will unfold in the last two quarterfinals in our evening session, starting not before 5 p.m. this evening. There's confirmation of what we've brought you so far. Li Zijia taking down Chen Long in straight games, then Chen Yufei needed a third and decisive game to wriggle past Rachanov Intanon. That was a compelling watch. Then the big popcorn match of the day, Ellis and Smith saving three match points and coming through against Tang and Se in 84 minutes. And Victor Axelson, well, a much more straightforward affair, just needing 40 minutes of action to uh, creep past Shi Yu Chi, who's not quite the force he used to be, but he's still inside the top 10. Now then, what about this one? It's a women's singles top 10 clash of the Titans. Indeed, it's a repeat of the All England Open women's singles final of 2018. As we head towards the second quarter of the women's singles draw, it's Nozomi Okuhara leading the way out against Kusala V. Sindhu. And, uh, well, I can tell you the Indian, according to that graphic, absolutely right, she leads 9-7 on the head-to-head uh, -head matches overall. Won the last meeting in the World Championships against Okihara. So what will unfold today? Last time here on this very court, it was an hour and 24 minutes long. An absolute epic where Vivi Sindhu came through 21-18 in the decider. Red, black for you. Red, that side. Receive your serving for So the Indian uh, electing sides. Mixed doubles unfolding over on court two. A Thai and Indonesian clash over there adjacent as we take a look at the biography of Evie Sindhu, 24 years of age right now. Tall, rangy athlete from Hyderabad. Succeed in this event, current uh, world champion, of course. 2018 World Tour Finals champion as well, unable to defend her title. There's her course through. Took down Zhang of uh, the States in 42 minutes. Then Sung Ji Hyun of Korea. In 49 minutes, yet to concede again. So she's been on fine form, has Pasalavi Sindhu. We brought you that Bei Wen Zhang victory on our number one show court a couple of days ago. Well, it's been no nonsense as well from Nozomi Okihara, the 25 year old from Nagano. Has been right up to the pinnacle in the rankings. Well, she's made six finals last year, but each time came out second best. So she'll be attempting to grab the title here. She's got a lot of work to do, of course, and a very, very tough opponent in front of her. In her first match on Wednesday, she took down Michelle Lee, the Canadian, world number 10. 21-12, 21-12, 36 minutes, and then again, very, very bossy, dominant showing against Lena Kirschfeld of Denmark yesterday in the second round. Just 33 minutes required. Similar kind of scoreline. So both players right on form, and it's been just perfect ingredients, Morton, for cooking up to what might be a, a really good one in that they're, they're both plenty of energy. Uh, it should be. Absolutely yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Ready to play. Okuhara, the uh, champion of this tournament in 2016. And then, um, of course, in the clash between these two players, there's been two big ones, or three big ones. Okuhara won the World Championship in 2017 in Glasgow in a match that lasted an hour and 10 minutes. Um, but in the World Tour Finals 2018, that's when uh, Sindhu won her first a big tournament. She beat Okuhara in that final in two straight games. And, of course, at the World Championship, in Basel in 2019, the final again was against Okuhara, and this time 
Sindhu, she won 21-7, 21-7. So that was really uh, a big, big victory here for Sindhu. However, since the World Championship in Basel, she has not performed to her best. So it's very interesting to see whether she can sort of start picking off again. As we say, she's a very competitive player. She knows when to peak and all that. So it would be very interesting to see whether she can do well here at the All England because All England has not been her best tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Nozomi Okuhara, Japan. On my left, Pusala Pizindu, India. Pusala Pizindu to serve. Love all. Play. Big smash from uh, Sindhu. Can be a very aggressive player if she wants. level from the offing here Four. from PB Sindhu to the delight of her coach Gopichan yeah, Gopichan a winner himself of this tournament back in 2001 he won the many singles Well left by uh, Sindhu. Six, two. Uh, 
Quite good pressure again on the back line from Sindhu. Really well recovered by Ugohara. Unfortunately for her, still not enough. Seven, two, change. But lots and lots of pressure on that back line by Sindhu. But the conditions here at the Birmingham Arena could perhaps favour Nusumi Ogahara a little bit because it is favouring retrieving players quite a lot. So um, you never know. But uh, as I said, the last encounter these two players had was at the World Championship in Basel in August 2019. And that ended up 21-7, 21-7 in favour of Sindhu. Yes. Service over. Three, seven. Two more contrasting body types and game styles. I guess you won't really very often see. I seem to be a very tall athlete. Uh, what, five a foot ten? I think of course, uh, Okuhara, probably one of the smallest players on the circuit, together with Akane Yamaguchi. First challenge of the match. remaining four seven play Hi! service over uh, starting with uh, an aggressive Eight, smash on four. almost every service a return TV Sindhu and uh, I sincerely think that uh, Uguhara should perhaps consider to play some uh, low services as, as well, just to mix it up a bit. Yeah. And that's good play from Uguhara. Ports into a, on the backhand side, deep backhand Five, corner. Eight. This one really nicely played and then the finish down the line. Good play from Okuhara, closing the gap just to three points. Again, we see the big smash from Sindhu. And it, it is interesting because uh, the call, please. in 2019, from January to July, PV Sindhu was really not having the best of time on the court. And then suddenly she reached the final of the Indonesian Open. And that was just before the World Championship Nine, in Basel, and she gained a lot of confidence from getting to that final in Indonesia, and then suddenly she was a complete transformed player when she played in Basel. Ten, five. It's funny, isn't it? All, all a player needs very often is one little lift like that. They need a little bit. Mm. Everybody does that. Mm. Confidence is so fickle in sport, isn't it? Comes and goes as quickly as well. I think that one is out. Nozomi Okara challenges, called in. I think it might be out on the sideline. Mm, I wonder what the body language of uh, Posada was suggesting there as well. I think she thought it might have been gone as well. It was an immediate sort of protest-like uh, challenge from Okahara, who span round on her heels, threw her arm into the air very quickly. Let's yeah, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Correction, out. 
Perhaps the line's judge was obscured, giving him the benefit Service of the doubt. Over. Six, ten. Play. Play. Oh. So it's the Indian, P.B. Sindhu. Race is off to a five-point lead then, 11 points to six. ちょっとスピード上げて動いてれば相手もスマッシュチャンスはないよね。ちょっと自分はちょっとスピード上げて自分は動いてれば相手もスマッシュチャンスはないよね。ちょっと自分はちょっとスピード上げて自分は動いて
Well, the scoreboard pressure weighing heavy right now on Japanese shoulders here. It's a 10-point cushion for Pusala v Sindhu. Nozomi Okahara in this opener looking all at sea, struggling to find answers. That's encouraging. Eight, 17. remember Paul but when we commentated on uh, Pusala v Sindhu against the uh, Xiang Bei Wen um, I mentioned you know it was very early stages in the tournament and we never know what to anticipate what's coming up but I mentioned that if this clash was to happen in the quarter final I think Sindhu would be quite happy with the draw because she's I think she's feeling comfortable when she's playing with Ohara. It's a, it's a tremendous fight in the top eight, top ten in the women's singles. And, you know, you have to... There are players you like to play, and I think this is uh, one of the singles' favourites to play. And Okuhara have to find the answers. Azumi Okuhara challenges, called out. Uh, to me, this is in. Yeah, it's in. I, I also feel it's in. I think she's right again. But uh, she is trailing by nine points. It's far too much. I think Ugohara is doing the right thing. She's trying to attack as much as she can, but she's doing it because she don't want Sindhu to attack her. So I think the idea of the best defense is actually being on the attack, is the strategy that Ugohara is using here. And I can understand that because as soon as she's giving initiative away, then Sindhu seems to be just too strong. Yeah, it's like Service first over. to get in, first strike badminton, isn't 11, it, right now? 19. Service over. 20, game point, 11. Six. 
with a sparkling start, and she never let go of that grip. A terrific opening game for Pasala v Sindhu, 21-12. She takes the opening game in this women's singles quarterfinal within 18 minutes. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
as she's trying to extend the rallies as much as possible at the same time try avoiding being attacked too much at the same time which is a, a little bit of a catch 22 situation It's interesting to see how much better Okuhara is coming out of the service situation by serving low. Salavi seemed to get hooked and pulled all over the court. It's becoming quite a physical contest. Both of them are relatively fresh, though, yet to concede a game. Apart from Okahara, who's just lost the last one, of course. But yeah, but the sting is uh, mm. disappearing from the smash of Sindhu. Mm. The intensity then the Indian. Yeah. Good recovery there from look at this from Okuhara. That's really well played. Got to it. I think she did the right thing trying to play into the center of the court, not giving Sindhu any angle to play after that had Players come over. On this one here, that's quite cleverly played. Now yeah, she's got to be careful. She had a card last match that we saw when she was on court Five. one against Lei Wen Zhang. Uh, stalling. That's, that's true. Now when you mention it, I, I do remember. You do get the sense that Okuhara is paving Six, the way three. to turn this game around. She's been very, very hard-working and disciplined. Things looking up for the Japanese. She's really enjoying herself now, Okuhara. And by contrast, Seven, the body language of Pasala not so, shaking her head in frustration.
I know this sounds a little bit crazy, perhaps, but I, I really feel that that was an unforced error from, uh, from Okohara. She was well balanced, uh, in control. Sindhu did not hit one of her, her power smashes. Still, somehow, it went into the net that return. Seven. Just lost that one in the lights momentarily, hence the miscue here. Terry Lull. Of course, there is creeping in. Clever smash or half smash. Yeah, it looks like Cindy's on a little bit of a comeback here. Because Three minutes ago, four minutes ago, I really think it looked like uh, it could be uh, Okuhara's game. It certainly felt like that, didn't it? She's so resurgent. Whichever way you look at it, it does look like Pasala is kind of losing her grip a little bit. Okuhara looking more feisty and determined. I think, as I say, the, the, the sting of uh, the smash of Sindhu has been reduced, and that is helping uh, Okuhara quite a, quite a lot. Service over. Seven, nine. She did, timely. It was a really, really hard-working oh, phase of the match for her. She's been a blur of intensity. 11-8 to the turn, she goes first this game.
so Morton and I were just chatting off air and uh, he was suggesting that PV Sindhu's level she started so high with such level of intensity and pace but gradually losing the sting off of her shots and <laughs> Okuhara started far lower but the intensity is just slowly creeping up and Sindhu's got to be very careful she doesn't lose too much sting otherwise Okuhara is going to take over the whole momentum of the match and it's going to be all Japanese I mean there good example of it that, that shuttle should have been killed not so Okuhara again extends the rally Is it? Yeah, what, what happens is that uh, Sindhu is a very, very good retrieving player, but when she's playing at her best, she's a very good retrieving player plus a very good attacking player. When it becomes really grueling physical, that attack is taken away from Sindhu and she becomes retrieving only. And that's where you can say that Okuhara is uh, leveling the playing field. And that's, of course, what she's trying to do. 13, yeah, so Okuhara is always going to win in those defensive kind of minded sort of points. So PV Sindhu has to keep up the pace of attack, right? Otherwise, this is what's happening. And the whole tempo and feel of the match is swiveling on its axis unless Kusala can keep up the uh, aggressive assaults. Those in the opening game were finding lines and inside of lines. Now they're starting to just sprinkle over the back line and wide of the sideline. Beautiful from Okahara. She's back. Good leave, or is it? There's a definite uh, challenge on it. Needing to go to the technology for confirmation again. She's been right twice. Salavi Sindhu, that one. Ten, yeah, and this gap, gap is huge, six points. Played. This time in the match, that's a big gap. It's just uh, taken a massive change, hasn't it? This The look to this match where she was so dictatorial, the Indian player, from the offing. Suddenly, really, as you said so eloquently, Morton, really lost the sting out of her attacks.
Well, you have to pat Okahara on the back. She has engineered this situation by working tirelessly. Yeah, but I think she had very good advice from the coaching bench. I think Okahara favours to play that high serve. And uh, she has definitely changed to play low serve to get out of a, a tricky situation in the uh, service situation. And I think she's doing really well on that. And I am convinced it's on the advice of the coaching bench. Oh, that's gone long as well. And it's Akihara who's turning the screw in game two. Desperate to get back on turns. Wipe the call, please. So does she throw well, caution to the 18. wind, Morton, and really prepare for game three by going lights out here, Pusala? Mm, I don't think so. It, it's not in her game to do that. Um, I would, however, consider it if it was me. Second game has Okahara really found her game, and her confidence is now right up there. Pasala oh. 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 Embroiled in another of those long, telling 20, rallies that have been going point. the majority of the time oh. the way of the Japanese. Eight game Change. points for Okahara here. She's looked far more sprightly and much more effective off the Hara this game. Wow, stingy, <laughs> angry response from Pasala. Yeah, that's a good response. Really well played. This is what we saw in the in the opening game. This kind of uh, attacking style, with uh, a lot of pressure and power. Three game points have been saved 15, by the Indian athlete. 20. Really raising the level. I'm surprised she's left it this late to really sting the shuttle like that. Nozomi Okahara will not be denied. She takes game two, 21 points to 15, and levels the match score. We go on down the final straight in Birmingham. Don't go anywhere. Third game upcoming.
メリットする攻撃術にどんなに負けていいのかそれが強くいくだいぶ力抜いていく動きよくなっているのでそこからいくとしたらまだ力入ってないですねちょっとラウンドつけて今のゲームが後ろの使い方のラウンド使ってからこの方が楽なんでそこ使いながら右行くんだったらもうプライベートで入ってきてバックの準備する意識の雰囲気は結構、内からこちら、遠のイメージで、チャージがちょっとできなかったのイメージがあるだから、前半、ちょっと後ろ、ちょっと考えてね、チェック。So we are almost ready to commence the third and final game from this uh, morning slash afternoon session. Second game, uh, final game. Okuhara to serve. It's a love all play. Play. Starting in blistering pace. One low. Play by Obohara, not lifting it more than necessary. The weak reply from Sindhu Okuhara capitalizing purely looking from the start of this uh, third and final game. It looks like Okuhara can run away with it. Pasala's just not been given any lift away opportunities, has she, to really take advantage of, I guess. No, and, and when she gets the chances, I think she should attack the backhand side because uh, that was very, very efficient in the opening game. Two, one.
play. was right of Sindhu trying to apply the pressure on that backhand side. This time Okuhara lucky on the net court. That's more like it. That's what we saw in the opening game. A lot of approval Three. from Gopichan. Same thread Four, appearing two. early in game three here as it did in game two. Yes, Jihara it's exactly something. the same. And that's why I said earlier, just from the look of this beginning of the third game, it looks like Okuhara is standing a very good chance. Five, two. He's been advised very, very well under instruction, and it's working for the Japanese. Six, two. And this is what you really need to do when you play singles, is what Ugohara is doing here, being able to play back at the net, even though the opponent is standing there waiting for it. That's a sign of a very good player when you can do that. She's been like a firework, hasn't she? A blur in white at the top of our picture, and Naomi Okahara has been everywhere two. at once, like a sort of ghostly speed. The intensity has just gone through the roof from her, and by contrast, Pasala's looked rather sort of slow in comparison, said with, with, with respect, of course, but something else from the Japanese. Now that's what we saw more of in the opener, and that's what Pasala needs to do right now. I think she needs to throw caution to the Three, wind, but she's seven. not had too many of those opportunities to really have a crack at the shuttle up over over her head. Now, I think Ogohara has been very successful in extending the rallies, but at the same time been attacking Sindhu in order for her not to attack Ogohara. So I think she has really been able to facilitate the two strategies into one, and it's been working really nice. Stunning from Okahara, that one. She has dug so deep today. 2016 Eight, champion three. looking good here now. Five point cushion for Nozomi Okahara. You called it, Morton, earlier in the match, didn't you? There's been, you know, the tipping point when it was One happening. We let the viewers know, and she hasn't looked back Four, since then. Eight. Sometimes you're lucky. <laughs>
net at the moment. Oi, 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 that is awesome play. 11-5 to the interval. Nozomi Okahara looking absolutely sensational right now. Turn this match on its head. <laughs> バランス崩れて今そのままでよ。行くとしたら Okuhara back first to resume. Play. Bouncing, springing with energy. In your face kind of performance from her in her humble, gracious way. to the first and opening game. It looks like it's now Sindhu who can't find the answers. Service over. Six, 12. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 13 6. Play. Skill level from Pasala Visindu there. <laughs> Okahara down on the deck as a look, consequence. Look at the 
commitment. What's cool, please? That's capital C as well, isn't it? With how much she's so tenacious. Look at this. Down but not out. She will get up and fight on. Thank you. Back on court, players. Seven thirteen. been the story of the last half hour or so, hasn't it? Just narrowly missing on a regular basis. No lack of input, but she can't seem to find the court. Been asked a lot of troublesome questions from the Japanese, though. Been niggling away, nibbling at her psyche all match. That's a big miss. Uh, so <laughs> you could 13, even see it on the seven. face of Kopichan. <laughs> the stillness oh. was quite animated in itself, wasn't it? A silent look that said, what was that? I actually think Sindhu played the right tactic there by targeting the, the backhand side of uh, Okuhara as much as possible. All the shots went to that backhand side and it created an opportunity. She's been like a human dynamo today, hasn't she, the Japanese? Not only today. Tireless, yeah, always. Every day, always. <laughs> she does it. It's impressive. She's such an athlete. Service over. Phenomenal. Eight, 16. Five points away from the W, and with it, a spot in the semi-finals, a chance to take on Chen Yufei, up above, who lies in wait, world number one and defending champion. She celebrated it. from Pisala v. Sindhu. Eight-point 
gap is a lot. And nicely disguised there from Okuhara. It's not often we see her playing shots like that. Shows confidence. Risk, but you've got to take that at this stage. It's called in. Challenges called in. Call in. It's close. I wouldn't like to call that one. No, I'm not going to put my neck on the line. Either, no, no, you lost one. You already, <laughs> already one nil down, so don't do that. <laughs> I think it's in, but it's so close. OK, I'll go out so I can level. Two nil down. Two nil down. Challenge unsuccessful. That was one two challenge coffees. remaining. <laughs> 12-19, Don't injure yourself in a situation like this. See Sindhu directing shots towards the backhand side. That should do it. Zomi Akahara now with 20, seven match, match points. After a tepid start, Nozomi Okahara, world number four and fourth seed in this All England Open, engineers a dramatic shift. It's been a seismic change around, having lost that opening game to 12. She comes through 21-15, 21-13, and delights her fans here in Birmingham. Confirmation of the scoreline. Zomi Okahara safely through to the semi-finals. It'll be Chen Yufei, who she'll take on tomorrow. But that, a massive, massive comeback from the little diminutive Japanese. But take her lightly at your peril. Safely through to the semi-final. Well, it's been quite a session, hasn't it? Li Zhijia coming through against Chen Long, the third seed. Chen Yufei against Rachanov Intanon, safely through in a tight tussle there. Ellison Smith as well coming through in that absolute epic, saving three match points. Victor Axelson, well, much more straightforward and plain sailing from the Dane. Just needing uh, only 40 minutes there. And then, well, almost 70 minutes required for Nozomi Okuharu. So what a terrific morning session it's been and this is what's coming up next plenty more quarterfinal action the top seeds in men's doubles on display and also the eighth seed against the third seed in the women's singles Alison Langridge he's back for more in men's doubles take on the might of those big Russians who have won here before third seeds in women's doubles and the tie 
against uh, Tai Tzu Ying in the women's singles. So that's how it's... That's what you'll be watching later. That concludes our action from session one here at the Arena Birmingham. Do join us later from five o'clock local time for our night session where we do it all over again. So uh, with continuing live coverage action. I'm going to leave you with some parting pictures for now. It's time from Morton Frost and myself, Paul Hand, to say goodbye for now. Do join us later at 5 p.m.